Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Near and senior citizen here, and greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non binary friends, and welcome to this brand new day. And also, down here, uh, this is my my old lady kitty cat. She's coming up on 20 years old. I don't can't remember the exact year and such that she was born. So she's coming up on 20. She's, you know, kind of thin, kind of bony, but she's she's knocked my Nintendo and all of my stuff here onto the floor so that she can sleep there. So if you you see her down here, then yay, <laughs> she's a silly kitty, and I love her very much. Yay. Also, the little ghost was up and running around earlier today getting some drinks so that he could go back to bed and get some more sleep. So he's still doing good. Yay, a very good thing. And, ah, itchy. And I am doing as well as I can on a daily basis. And that's good. I mean, I slept. Not wonderfully, but I slept. You know, that part's good. Man, <coughs> <coughs> the vocal cords again. Yay. This is the first time I've really been talking since I woke up, so that's joyous, isn't it? <laughs> uh. And of course, to front load the video, uh, if you could interact with the YouTube algorithms, and if you'd like and see, if you like and see, if you like what you hear and see, hit the like button. That would be very cool, definitely appreciated. Also, to continue interacting with the algorithms, if you have not subscribed, if you could, that too would be very appreciated. And I like to say my thanks to each and every one of my Patreon patrons. These beautiful and awesome people help keep me alive. I am on disability and extremely limited income and I simply cannot work. I am broken. So these people help keep me alive and it is greatly appreciated. Definitely a good thing. If you could help me out and help keep me alive, that would be appreciated, but don't feel obligated in any way. Hopefully I'm semi close to the uh, text thing ending. I can't count in my head properly and it goes on for an amount of time that I can't even guess. <laughs> so thumbs up. But thank you each and every one of you. It is a good thing. Yay, front loading of videos. But still though, life has been life. I've been trying to do what I can do. I mean, I keep falling asleep during the daytime because I don't sleep much or well at night. And I, <coughs> excuse me, made a Twitter post yesterday about that. It's right around noonish. I took a 20 milligram a generic Ritalin tablet, which again is just a few molecules away from being the street meth. And after it kicked in, I fell asleep. It's like, you know you've got severe ADHD when you take meth and you fall asleep. <laughs> As a child, I did things that I would not recommend people do. I, as a teen, I was offered some uh, uh, powdered stuff that you inhale, you know, that white powder, and it was boring. I didn't like it. I didn't understand why other people did. It did nothing. And then I actually tried some uh, speed itself as a teen and wondered why people liked it. It didn't do anything. And in retrospect, of course not. It, it slowed me down. It made me normal. <laughs> so, yay. <laughs> Still, don't do the stuff I did. Now, hopefully I'm not going to be demonetized and all that just because of the things I've been talking about. Remember children? And by children, I mean everybody watching the video. <laughs> do not do what I do. Just listen and, um, and, and all that. I'm just trying to say to the algorithms I'm not promoting the things I talk about. That's all. Uh, life is life. So I've been existing and that's good. It's been raining a lot, a lot. It's back to normal. It's raining all the time. It's raining right now. It was raining last night. It, it was raining yesterday. So it's rain, 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 rain. It's been raining for days. So it's, it's like 7.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time and it is dark outside. And it had been getting light, but of course it's raining. And so it's gonna be dim and gray all day. But that's okay. I mean, we need rain, and rain is good. Talking about weather, though, here's where I cannot really determine whether it's actual warm weather outside or it's not. 
I am very susceptible to cold because of my age and because of the fact that I had at one point after the death of my wife reached over 300 pounds in weight. The thing about gaining weight is when you lose it, your body considers that the baseline and wants you to get back to it. And so my temperature regulator in my head is constantly telling me that because I don't have that 325 pounds of weight and thus not as much insulation, so the inside of my body is cooler now, it's telling me I'm freezing. I'm freezing all the time. I am cold all the time. And I hate being cold. I don't like it at all. And yet, when I go out walkies at night, this is what I wear. I'll carry my umbrella if it's raining, but right now, I mean, I, it's October 25th, day before my birthday. And last night, I went out wearing just an undershirt and an overshirt and carrying an umbrella. And I was more than warm. I was overly warm by the time I got back from my four point some odd mile walk. But the thing is, my body, with because I've gone walking so often, I have a lot of leaner muscle in me. And lean muscle burns very efficiently. I heat up fast. When I'm out walking, I usually see everybody else wearing like puffy coats, sometimes hats. And I'm wearing this and warm. So I can't really tell you if it's overly warm outside or if it's just me. So yay on that. <laughs> it's it's fun. Biochemistry. As I've mentioned, I used to be nocturnal most of my life. And then two years ago, suddenly I became diurnal. I mean, I used to be dragged all day and then energized at night and tried to get to sleep when that happened. So I wore a graveyard for most of my adult life until I got broken and such like that and got sober from my alcoholism. But hokey smoke, so... Ugh. Life is life. Life is life. So I'm going to break that train of thought because I can't even remember what I was talking about or where I was going. Yay! Fibro fog and more. Brain fog is no fun. You can have brain fog from a lot of different reasons. You know, I have partial, at least partial fibromyalgia. I have brain fog a lot. Fibro fog from that. And there's other issues that cause that. It's hard to think and concentrate, even with meds, because of my severe ADHD. And I've mentioned how I have a sky-high tolerance to anything. So to get me properly medicated, you'd have to pump a very unsafe amount of medication into me, and I would not survive it. So I can't be properly medicated because of the tolerances I've built up through my life. So... Yay. So, even at the best of times, you know, normal thought process for processes for people may be like a wind tunnel where you dump in three, four, five ping pong balls, and these are trains of thought, and if they hit the edge of the wind tunnel or they bunk against each other, you can get distracted. That doesn't mean you're not thinking, it means you're able to concentrate. For someone who is under-medicated like I, my thought processes and such are like 500 ping pong balls dumped inside of that wind tunnel and every time they bounce off the edges of each other there's a change in my what i'm thinking about but that is so much better when i'm not medicated it's like two or three thousand ping pong balls inside of that wind tunnel all of them bouncing off each other and the sides and there's just no way to concentrate so yeah even just 500 of them that is a major improvement. But still, it's, it's worse than the 5 or 10 that normal people have. Normal. That range. Since there's no such thing as normal. You can't point to one spot on a graph and say, this is normal. No, it's all range. Everything is ranges. Probability curves. So thumbs up on that. I do have some other stuff written down, of course. Uh, let me see where I have anything. Uh, I... Oh! Wait, wait, wait. I had gotten lost, but now I remembered. I can't remember now <coughs> if I'd mentioned this other person's channel before, whether in brief or in quick or what. There is another person's channel. They're the like called Atomic Shrimp. 
I believe, something like that. Normally, they do moderately normal things. And I say moderately normal because they've opened up like old canned food to take a look at what that is. And they try and eat things like vegan pork sausages just to see what that's like, you know, pork flavored vegan sausage stuff just to test it out and they go out foraging for mushrooms and they've had jars where they make sort of terrariums out of them where they've they've gotten water not terrarium yeah terrarium they put water into a jar collect rainwater put a cap on it so it becomes a self-contained system you know they provide air and such and then see what happens and what grows and they do fairly normal stuff like that this past month they have done five videos i guess because it's october so maybe they've done it way in the past each october but these five videos are the kind of thing that i wish i had done for my creative and disturbing channel it's very very good to look up at like i think it's atomic shrimp and check out it i can't even name of the remember the name of the village but it's a village and it's very odd very strange and a definite thumbs up on that Yay. So really, really quick, because I don't have a lot of time left. <laughs> because form and structure, routine and habit, I try to put things into a format because that I feel much better when I do that sort of thing. Yay. I do want to talk more about the inside and outside and world building on this one story setting inside the Cosmic Horror Framework that I'm working on. Because I've mentioned, of course, that there is the... Well, I've talked a fair amount. There's the... You know, once you're inside, there's the crossroads. We can go to the Crimson Kingdom with the Domain of the Pale Kingdom and the Association of Sovereign States. Uh, but in the Crimson Kingdom, which of course is broken up into five separate areas, four large districts, there's the Western Borough, the Eastern Borough, the Northern Borough, the Southern Borough, and then in the middle is the Central District, where the King in Crimson resides, both in the home and working place of the Red Palace. And it's just a gigantic red palace that is open to the public, largely, in all the rooms that aren't in use at the time, everyone's free to go in and look at once they're going to start doing things they will announce that they'll start getting things ready so when they need the room everyone's prepared to be you know shuffled out then they close up and they start using it this is again where the king in crimson runs the entirety of his vast and amazing machine now the king in crimson again is different and odd and not at all human very uncanny valley not well i guess it would have meant diff differ on the person but like when you're looking and talking to the the pale king the the king in crimson it is like a human figure that has been draped entirely in veils from the head down and they're just covered in veils but there is a one of these china masks with overly exaggerated eye shapes and then painted colors and then an overly exaggerated exaggerated shaped and painted mouth and the king in crimson wears this china mask it's not made out of china it's not porcelain and there are set facial expressions for it and every time they change you hear an analog click like a switch is being pressed and then it takes about two or three seconds and what looks like a digital line runs across the face. And then at the digital line, as it goes down, you know, it, the expression has changed. So it can go from happy to, you know, sad as the line gets there. The thing is though, it's not a digital expression. It's actual stuff. You can hear like a electronic fry sound as something is physically falling into place and changing all the way down in that line so it's and then it changes into the new expression the king in crimson is not limited but they use you know generally like a, a common ten you know happy neutral bored angry you know that sort of thing again i've mentioned that it's not really human if the King in Crimson is standing next to you and then turns its head to look at you, the head doesn't turn like a human head. 
we have our pivot points way in the back where our skulls attach to our necks. So our heads pivot and change on the, on the pivot point of the neck. When the King and Crimson's head, tur head turns, that doesn't happen. It's like there is a stick that it's stuck on and it just swivels. It's like a ball with a central axis and that swivels. It doesn't turn, it swivels to face you. So it's not human in the slightest with a huge amount of uncanny valley to it. But of course, when you look through the eye holes, you see human eyes, you see blinking human eyes, eyelashes. They're wet, they blink, they tear up. If you sad, they are sad. If you look through the mouth, you see human lips, human teeth, a human tongue. They wet their lips if they're talking a lot. You see skin, and if it grins down here, you actually see skin bump up, up there. And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. There are far, far, far less <laughs> than 25 comments to get through, so that's not going to take long. If I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended, and even though I count American Sign Language, I sometimes get lost, even on the small amounts that I get through. Any amount of comments greater than zero is appreciated. Thank you all so very much. It, it really is honestly appreciated. We have Kurai Abernathy, and again, I certainly hope that I'm close. Thank you very, very much. There's Maria Jose Gutierrez. I certainly hope I'm halfway correct. Thank you very, very much. Jay Rack, thumbs up. Mark Smith, greatly appreciated. There is a long name that I honestly cannot appreciate it. Appreciate? Uh, I do not know the language. I'll have to run it through Google Translate, but thank you very much. There is Edit's Leader, greatly appreciated. Andy Millen, thumbs up and thank you very, very much. We have Scott49140, greatly appreciated. Christopher Thomas, thumbs up and thank you very much. And that is it. Nine people who left me comments in the past 24 hours. You get me out of my head and into the world and dealing with real people, if only in text. And if only for a very short time, but it is appreciated to no end. Thank you so very much. And of course, I do not know what device you are watching this on, so I do not know where the video description is, but inside of that, there are links to all of my channels. If you could check it out, that would be cool, as well as links to my Twitter, Facebook, my Patreon. Again, I wish to show my appreciation and thanks to each and every one of these Patreon.com patrons. Literally, they help keep food in my belly, my rent paid, pain medication in my body and my pets happy. Thank you so very, very much. It is greatly appreciated. If you'd like to help me out without becoming a patron, I do have a PayPal link. I'm not above grubbing for any spare cash you can send me when you got next to nothing, anything else. Thumbs up. I do have an Amazon wish list link where it's got cat food and a hard drive on it. So I need to put more cat food and I need to put hamster bedding on there. So if you could check that out, that would be cool as well. Now. <clears throat> do not feel entitled. I always screw that up. Do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. A definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could hit the notification bell on the subscription button, greatly appreciate it. Thumbs up and thank you so very much. Well, hokey smokes, it's a Monday, which means in these uh, pandemic times, there's going to be even more people on the phone trying to call government agencies. So any government type agency I need to call, I need to wait until tomorrow unless I want to be on the phone so long my phone battery dies. Yay. But I'm going to try my best to stay as creative as I can to get the things that I need done, done. And I hope you do the same. And of course, please seek creativity. Keep your brain working. It is a very good thing. Seek positivity. Being negative, too negative, being too negative only hurts yourself and others. And seek balance, positivity and negativity. Don't go bouncing from one extreme to the other. Stay in the middle. Balance in all things. So, with the Kofefe bug still raging, <clears throat> Whether you are vaxxed or not, please try not to get into crowds of people. If you have to, please wear a mask. 
Try your best to maintain your social distancing. Wash your hands often. Try not to touch your face. Get vaxxed if you haven't been yet and you are medically able to, and it has to be a serious medical thing. Get the booster if you can. We can get through this. We can get through this. Right now, it is literally turning into a pandemic of the unvaxxed. So, please, be smart, be safe, stay alive. Thumbs up for that. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is in my book a very good thing.